Welcome back to your tour of Hell Temple. I'll be your guide today, Cameron274. And today, I have bombs. Which means we can do this! And get up to this weight right here. I keep calling them weights when actually they're pedestals that you put weights on. I'm sorry for any grammatical mistakes that I've made. Any flaws in my speech. Alright, so here we have the V room. If you haven't guessed by the giant eyes in the floor, they're going to shoot lasers! Yes, lasers. Oh god, so many lasers. So many lasers! Let's see what's in that shop. Let's not see what's in that ladder, because that is a complete and utter trap. That brings you back to the first room. Here you can buy bullets, bombs, and flares. Not like that's going to be of any use. Maybe bullets, but there's much cheaper ways of obtaining those kind of things. Alright, so this room is particularly interesting because it's got a punchline. Wiki jokes. Yes, I stole that joke from the wiki. Ooh, that was close. Ninja, don't even. Oh, that's not good. Well, I'm back in Land of Hell now. Let's kill everything. There we go, that wasn't too bad. However, when you get out of the Land of Hell, it's always going to bring you to the same spot. As for Land of Hell 1... God damn it. For Land of Hell 1, it brings you back to the entrance. And for Land of Hell 2, it brings you back to that room with the fists. And you know what? I have the wrong software on. I should do this. Yeah. Because since I'm using the Keyblade, it's not the whip. Therefore, move Lamulana is going to do nothing for me. Zip zero zada. Zada isn't a thing. It's not a zilch. All right, let's keep going. Back in the V room. The V room. All right, here we are. Palenque room again. Not Palenque room again. Yeah, there are some tough platforming uh, rooms here, and it can get pretty tough. As in, like, notoriously tough. As in Spike Room of Death and Grapple Claw, Evil Unicorn Monster, Tough of Notoriety, Tough. This one is one of the perpetrators for being difficult platforming sections. And by this one, I mean the Palenque Room right here. But there is much worse. If you stand here, you can dodge almost all of these projectiles, and in that case, I actually did dodge all of them, so I'm very proud of myself. So let's climb up here, and make our way into the next room. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. Anyway, so yeah, we've got to find another way in. And in this case, it's a simple just go right through the wall gimmick. So, not very user friendly, but not really puzzling either. All you have to do is get back to that room and get hit by a fist. That's what you want to do. La 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 la. And soon we'll be coming across the halfway point for this dungeon in which we actually get a shortcut, I know. Believe it or not, this dungeon gives you a shortcut back. It's crazy, right? And I mean, what we've seen has been difficult so far, sure. But nothing hellish. Let's get hellish. So here we have lasers. Uh, I said lasers, there we go. Alright, this is Baphomet's room. This one can be dangerous! Ooh. I get hit. Great. And for this puzzle, this one's kind of creative actually. You have to wait for this platform to come down and then cling. Or not. Okay, I can just let go for no reason. As I was saying. And then cling onto it with the grapple claw. Just swing over and you're done. Ooh, the Tiamat room. Fun, fun, fun for the whole family. The Tiamat room will shoot big pink lasers at you. 
from her chest cavity. Because where else would you shoot big pink lasers from? Nowhere. The answer is nowhere else. Alright, that does it for that. And, oh, it's this room. Oh god, no. You want to remember the orientation of the weights. In this case, they're in a, uh, they're in a five-pointed star pattern. But you also want to watch out for one other thing. And that is, and that is that this area is full of trick floors. So you want to be very wary of that. And I want to kill all these things because they make me sad. That's three. Where's that four? Huh? Alright, one more. Uh, it's worth mentioning that if you fall down in this room, you get down to Land of Hell 3. Which will bring you back to this room when you're done. Okay, good light. There we go. Alright, now onto the left, and we find... Okay. This is Land of Hell 3. It's full of these little guys. Uh, apparently these are kind of like the character version of Naramura, which, who is the uh, creator of this game. Mr. Naramura to you. But he's decided to enshrine himself as a blue, ba blue blob of tongue. Kind of strange choice, but whatever. Fun fact. Narumura, backwards in Japanese, is Ramurana. See if you can guess what he used that as inspiration for. Oh no! I fell in again! Damn it. Now, I'm gonna take a page out of Deceased Crab's book here, and go ahead and cal... No, this is Caltrops. And, uh... Whatchamacallit? My way through here? I don't even remember the name of these things. Why do names have to be names? Why do I have to lose these things? What are these things called? This is bothering me now. Chakram! That's it! Ooh, and you know what? I forgot to sleep in the land. Good night. That's better. Alright. Continuing. Let's see if I can actually do anything to that boss this time. Yeah, do your fire. I don't even care. This guy can be annoying because of that pit right there. He'll step forward, and he'll knock you into it. And then he'll make the lightsaber, of course, but that can be avoided by standing under him. I'm fairly certain you can stop him with the Lamp of Time if you need to get... Damn it! This guy's annoying. Uh, additionally, if you need XP for more life, you can farm it here. This can actually be a pretty lo good location for farming XP because it's always accessible and it's got things in it. Blue gelatinous things. Let's see if I'm able to get full life. I would really appreciate full life. Please? No? Alright, I'm going to farm until I get full life and then try to beat that mini boss again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I need one more. One more. Will you give me one? Yes, you will. Thank you. Anyways, let's continue. See if I can beat you this time. Not without a shield, I can't. Ah, right, yeah, use your lightsaber. I don't even care anymore. See that? I dodged you putting your foot down, too. That's, that's, the si that's what all true warriors strive for. Stop stepping forward. It's making me un... Nerved. Well, that's the end of that. <laughs> so, basically that dragon is the mid-boss of the entire dungeon. Beat him and we'll be halfway through. Hooray! Oh, I missed that. That's something I should not be missing. Thank you. Pick that up. And kill everything. Killing everything is okay in hell. Not okay in real life. Alright, and back. Oh, come on! Right as I got back! Uh, more, more of this. Let's beat that thing again. Hello again. Would you like to try and accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? 
I'm gonna take that as a no. Alright, please. There- No! I thought you were dead. Stop being alive! Your eyes are terrifying. Still, though. Dude, it's, it's getting to be too much. Oh, come on. Well, this is unfortunate. Hello again. I've got a delivery for Mr. Scary Demon Man thing. That is your name, right? No? That's, that's the little old Asian lady from down the street? Oh. Alright. Well, thank you for letting me know. Oh, come on. I need that back. Oh, I need that back, too. Excuse me, sir. I'm required by law to tell you that I'm a registered demon slayer offender. Something tells me you're not okay with that. However, it is against federal law to shoot me with a giant Yoda lightsaber. So, I would advise you to cease and desist immediately. No, no, not doing that the right thing to do. Oh, come on. This is just getting ridiculous.